ended up back down at Hidden Lake. I'll show you why in a moment. Looped all the way around counterclockwise to the far rec sites. We come to this only paid camping beyond here. I don't think there's anyone for 10 kilometers back here, but I'll, they took the time to write up the sign. So let's uh, go with that. Red Betty Trooper right there. And then we'll head up here to the lake spot and see what's what. Yeah, certainly a gentler, certainly a gentler feel than back at Baird. Baird Lake is quite remote. So the where I'm parked there, you can come in and enjoy one of the various rec sites on offer here. Let's go through here, through some old growth that they haven't clear cut yet. Let's see what, see what the lake looks like. Oh, nice, nice. I'll show you what I'm getting breathy about here in a moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like this spot. So, of all the spots that I've checked out in the Okanagan Kootenays region of British Columbia, Canada, I'm going to go ahead and call Hidden Lake, where I am right now, my favorite. As the waves slowly lap onto shore. Snow, upper elevations. More snow coming, so I'm told. And some really, really tall trees. They were gracious enough to leave us to enjoy here on the crystal clear lake waters of Hidden Lake. This is lunch. I'm having lunch right here with that fall foliage in the distance. I think I know what's going on with the limited access that they've declared a little bit further up. A huge part of the appeal of this for anyone, myself included, is the isolation you can enjoy. You want to be back country, away from it all, and you don't want traffic if it can be avoided, and you don't want people around if that can be avoided too, other than your, the group that you've gone back there with, if that's the case. So I think that's what's going on back there, it's to afford these people a truly backcountry experience and not have anyone disturb that for them so I get it feels a little weird though when you're when you're this far out see a sign saying don't go here <laughs> well don't know if I'm feeling that but I I understand certainly let's enjoy a lunch change of plans the sun is setting over there which would afford much longer exposure on that side of the shore that's where we've been previously. <clears throat> Spots 22 and 23 or whatever they were. So I think, as beautiful as this is, we've already lost the sun here. And we're not getting any sunset effect because it's behind the trees, as mentioned. So we're going to book her back to where we were previously. Spot number 22, I think. And see what's going on over there. Being very specific, as I said I would do back at rec site number 22. They're all numbered around the, the lake. You can just come and enjoy the lake shore if you care to, but the sort of the spots with a little more room to them are designated. And there is a hike down to Hidden Lake down here. I'm currently on. There's some thick forest coverage there. It's a quick little jaunt. We've been here before. So we're going to head back down to the spot, grab a quick bite, cast a few, and maybe, just maybe, have a fire. 
depending on the mood and the circumstances. People in a boat right there. And then I'll show you what I'm getting breathy again about here if I don't wreck myself on the way down. Okay. See, the other side, where we were over there, it's already out of sun. And at least here, we're gonna get more of that effect. Gonna get an incredible sunset. And it's a really good spot to have a nice dinner. From the shores of Hidden Lake. Apologies to the foodies watching. I grabbed some McDonald's on the way here. It was pressed for time. So it's Macca's for dinner. But I did get this Roar Organic Energy Drink, or vitamin drink rather. And not much sugar, all kinds of electrolytes and vitamins, so they say. So this is the first ever try and a review of Roar Organic Drink. Oh, it's good. It's good stuff. Mmm. Good choice number one for the day. Apologies again to the foodies. Not much from a culinary standpoint on offer when you're scarfing a couple of cheeseburgers. But I was in a rush. Discast. Discast. One thing I will say about the Hidden Lake area in general is they're really good, it seems like, with picking up the garbage, both in the wreck sites themselves, up like where you park up above and hang out with your tent or RV or whatever you're doing, but also down by the water as well. You're not seeing very much garbage in this area compared to other spots. I have picked up a little bit here. Um, but nothing compared to other areas I've been to. It's fantastic that way. This cast.
some fascinating things going on in the sky lately. I've pointed out in a couple of videos how there were objects that look like partial sun dogs going on. I've seen those a thousand times. I've never seen what ever was in those previous videos. This cloud right here, similar to what was happening the day I went on that lottery run, if you ever saw that video, there's a dark spot in the center of it and then there's a <clears throat> cloud formation that comes out from it. Not a, the biggest deal in the world. Who cares, right? But similar to what I was looking at the other day and then in my polarized gag Elvis sunglasses, any polarized sunglasses, all the other cloud formations are white, whitish gray, but around this thing that has the dark, the sun is probably interfering with that, that has the darker thing in the center, on the lower edge, there's a light effect. It's the exact same thing that was happening the last time I observed some kind of weird cloud thing going on in the sky where dark in the center, less mobile than the other clouds. It seemed to sit stiller for longer. And through polarized sunglasses, you could see material coming out of the bottom portion of the cloud that had a discoloration to it. And before you come up with something that might be causing it, it's not happening anywhere else in the sky. It's just the one cloud with the darker thing in the center. And it's weird. It really is weird. And there was a similar circumstance. There has been a similar circumstance several times that I've, that I've captured on video and photo. And it's not a sun dog because I know what that looks like. Yeah, I'll get you in closer. There's the sun. This one right here, above it, through polarized glasses, the lower portion has some color things going on. You can, I think you can kind of see that effect on the left hand side of that. And then there's the darker thing on the right, which seems to be similar to the previous, whatever these phenomena are referred to as. It's neat, whatever it is. And it's recurring. Oh, hell yeah. Two thumbs up for the Roar Organic Strawberry Coconut Naturally Flavored Vitamin Enhanced Beverage. It's a long name and it's good stuff. Starting to wind down here. The sun is just about to go below the horizon. And I was thinking about having a fire, but I don't think I will. I think I'm gonna get back to Kelowna. That's what the, the mood is at this point. It's coming up on Halloween here. And Vernon, the community of Vernon, British Columbia, has, I was talking about the uh, neurological benefits of going barefoot as evidenced. Vernon, British Columbia, a town not too far from Kelowna, British Columbia, where I live, is running the Rocky Horror Picture Show for a few nights in their old town theater or something. It's the theater that runs older movies, only older movies, not Marvel new releases or whatever else is going on in the, the mainstream theater feed. And I'm thinking I would like to go to one showing of the Rocky Horror Picture Show at around Halloween, as we are now, because I think it'd be a lot of fun. I don't know how in character people go to 
these movies here. Uh, if you're not aware of what I'm talking about, Rock Horror Picture Show, people often will dress up similar to members of the cast of the film when they go to the movie. And the movie's a musical, if you haven't seen it already. And during some or all of the musical numbers, the people in the audience who are either dressed up or not uh, will get up and sing and dance along with the um, with what's going on in the film. Don't know that I'm too keen to get dressed up like a sweet transvestite. And oh, the mascara and the lingerie and everything else involved in that. It takes forever. Um, plus, I'm on my way home from a day out fishing back country. Give me a sec. I thought there was something on my lip there. Even if there is, I can't get it off. So, what are you going to do? I'm doing a photography series right now called Angel on My Head. And it's black and white. And it's basically this effect here where you've got a little sun flare right there, like that. Photographed black and white with the gag Elvis sunglasses on. And it looks, it's got an interesting look to it. I'll be putting them out on Instagram, the I Will Wander Instagram. And at some point I'll put them all together uh, as a, what do you call it? Series, whatever that is. Um, not sure if I mentioned, but I sold a painting yesterday or the day before. Recently, I, I was given cash money for a painting of mine, which is uh, a very unique, interesting feeling because that is entirely not the motivation for what I'm doing that way. I'm playing around with abstract acrylics right now, and it's comedy almost to me that, that anyone would pay for these pieces, but... That's kind of how it goes, right? When you're not overly invested necessarily in something that way, then it, it tends to, often anyway, it tends to pay off. Anyway, we'll see what goes on with the painting. I've got another one in mind. Of, I've got it all sorted out in my mind. If I'm being honest, ready to shut this down today, partially, because I'm a little bit bored today. I'm finding this a little bit boring. I mean, yeah, I know how fortunate I am to be able to look at this scenery, listen to the waves on this incredible lake, but I kind of want to get at something else in a bit here, I think. I'm going to feel the sun on my face for a little while longer, some of the last of the warmth of it. I'm assuming snow in this area forecast for the next little while so this is probably the last of this maybe not though could warm up hopefully And then shortly after that, it's ski season. <laughs> 